Welcome to Near the Curve. What is the Near the Curve? It's the point of most technological change. That's what we talk about here. I'm your host, Emmett Short. Quantum computing. Nobody understands it. Not even the people who do understand it, understand it. Physicists understand quantum mechanics in the same way that someone who owns a smartphone understands the smartphone. Like, they know how to use the apps. They can call people. They can make phone calls. They can take pictures. They don't know what's going on inside. Hey, not understanding something hasn't stopped 12-year-olds from buying Lambos with Dogecoin. People are making millions off of NFTs, which are a lot like UFOs. It's not clear if they're real, and people who talk about them sound crazy. At least quantum computing is being built by companies like Google, Intel, IBM, Microsoft. So, look, I'm not going to give you a whole quantum computing explanation in this video. I've already done that in this video. Am I the first person to compare quantum computing to bisexuality? Yes, and probably the last. All you really need to know is that really smart people think this is going to usher in the sci-fi future we've always dreamed of, while at the same time making ungodly amounts of money. So, who's using it? What are they using it for? And how long before the money starts to roll in? The first 1,000 people to use my link will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare Premium. More on that at the end. The potential benefits of quantum computing are vast. Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan are investing in quantum computing to close the wealth gap. I'm kidding. It's to make more money. They're, they're going to widen the gap. So choose your side. IBM and Daimler are using it to find new battery chemistries because quantum computing could simulate the properties of brand new molecules to create new forms of matter. Think life-saving drugs, clean fuels, compounds that could terraform Mars, invisibility cloaks, vibranium, dilithium crystals, flubber, everlasting gobstoppers. It's endless. Quantum computing could model DNA to create age reversal methods, meta humans with super intelligence and metal skin that can breathe on Mars and could save billions by creating more efficient shipping routes. Ah, getting plastic trinkets to where they need to go efficiently. That's how money's made, people. This is just scratching the surface, but I know what you're thinking. Is this 20 years out, 10 years out, five years out? How fast is this industry moving? Well, quantum computers have hit what we here at Knee of the Curve like to call the tipping point. I'm kidding, it's Knee of the Curve. We call it Knee of the Curve. Tippingpoint.com was taken. All right, it's Knee of the Curve. Current machines have 128 qubits. Pretend I said transistors. Soon they'll have a thousand of those qubit transistors. The market for quantum computing is also growing exponentially with a projected 43% compound annual growth rate till 2030 when quantum computing will actually start to become useful. At that point, in the words of IBM CEO Arvind Krishna, it's going to take off like a rocket ship. Google CEO Sundar Pichai said it'll bring a big revolution to the world. Microsoft CEO Satya, Nat Satya Nadella. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella listed quantum computing on his top three disruptive technologies. But how do you invest? I'm invested in this ETF. QTUM is the ticker because I felt like it was the easiest way to spread my money around in the sector. Some top public companies pursuing quantum computing are IBM, who plans to release a 1,121 qubit processor called Condor, and they hold by far the most quantum patents. Microsoft developed a new kind of qubit that could mean faster scaling of quantum computing power. Google has a goal of a 1 million qubit machine by the end of the decade, and is focused on creating a quantum AI. Intel is pioneering hot silicone spin qubits, which operate at a higher temperature. And IonQ claims to have the fastest quantum computer. They also have a ton of investment from Microsoft, Google, Samsung, and Amazon. And it's the first pure play quantum computer company to become publicly traded. A couple of private companies to watch are Psy Quantum just raised 450 million from BlackRock to build its new computer. Honeywell and Cambridge Quantum joined forces to form Quantinuum. There are too many companies to list here, so for a full list of public and private companies, check out the links in the description. I hope this informs your decision about investing in quantum computing. 
I'm invested, but that doesn't mean that this is financial advice. Is the technology going to grow exponentially? Yeah, I think so. But I don't know what else could happen in the world. There's wars and plagues, and now there's apparently a couple of blobs bubbling out of the Earth's core. So who knows? Maybe the Earth could pop, in which case no more quantum computers. But also, if I did tell you this was financial advice, no repercussions. You know, we just all pop. Anyway, here's hoping quantum computers get smart enough to help us figure out how to solve this earth popping problem. I gotta talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes. It's ad free with new classes launched every week. When I first joined Skillshare, I wanted to find tax loopholes. And I did. Then I wanted to make a 3D render. And I learned that too. I just took MKBHD's course on how to become a successful YouTuber, so. Any day now. I've been a member for over a year and I keep taking classes on the damn thing. There's thousands and it continues to be incredibly helpful. I just did a little studio remodel. So I binged like six classes on interior design and lighting. I think it turned out pretty good. The first thousand people to use my link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium. I wouldn't tell you to do something that you shouldn't do. Watch this video to stay up to speed on how fast you're being left behind. Leave your thoughts in the comments, even the weird ones, especially the weird ones. I have algorithmic Stockholm syndrome, so like and share, or take it to the next level and join Patreon and help make high tech low brow. And if you wanna be a part of the team and write jokes, DM me on Twitter and Discord. Click subscribe or let the AI radicalize you, your choice. See you in the future.